In a previous video, we compared the roles of a construction manager and quantity surveyor. It also just happens to be the most watched video on our channel. Part of its success is because of the crossroads many people find themselves in at the start of their construction journey. Should I go down the route of construction management or quantity surveying? For most people, this decision starts at the point of their university application. Therefore, in this video, we're going to compare the construction management degree with the quantity surveying degree. We'll look into what topics you can expect to study year by year, helping you make an informed decision as to which route is best suited for you. This video explores the curriculum of each degree. Our previous video compares the roles, responsibilities and salaries of each profession. We've left a link to that video in the description. We recommend you watch both. Before we begin, why not consider signing up to our free newsletter? You'll get a curated selection of the most impactful news stories in UK construction, along with exclusive offers to our products. To illustrate the differences, we're going to compare both routes as offered by the University of Reading and Berkshire, England. First, let's look at what Reading has to say about each course. We'll start with quantity surveying. With BSc Quantity Surveying, you will learn about the mechanisms that determine the cost and price of construction and how projects can be completed on time, to specification, and within budget. This course is designed to prepare you for a successful career in quantity surveying. You will benefit from the department's strong links with industry and with the surveying profession. Additionally, the degree is accredited by the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveys and by the Chartered Institute of Building. Accreditation is reviewed periodically. Successful completion of courses, accredited by CIOB and RICS, satisfies the academic requirements for membership of CIOB and RICS. For construction management, Reading states the following. Develop an expertise in the planning and programming of construction operations with this BSc construction management course. This course is designed to prepare you for a successful career in construction management and you will benefit from the department's strong links with industry. Additionally, the degree is accredited by the Chartered Institute of Building and by the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors. Accreditation is reviewed periodically. Successful completion of courses accredited by CIOB and RICS satisfies the academic requirements for membership of CIOB and RICS. So what topics can you expect to study? Interestingly, you'll notice there's a lot of crossovers. Let's break this down per year. Year 1 for Quantity Surveying you'll study Construction Science, Information and Communication, Construction Technology, Introduction to Economics and Law, Empirical Studies and Site Engineering, and Introduction to Management Projects. Year 1 for Construction Management you'll study Construction Science, Information and Communication, Construction Technology, Introduction to Economics and Law, Empirical Studies in Site Engineering and Introduction to Management Projects. As you've noticed, both routes are identical in Year 1, and Year 2 is no different. In Year 2, both routes will contain Management of Construction Projects, Building Environment Systems and Technology, Projects and Digitalization, Construction Procurement and Contract Law, Introduction to Quantification and Computerized Taking Off, and Building Pathology and Surveying Practice. Year 3 is when things start to change. It contains a mixture of compulsory and optional modules. For quantity surveying, there are three compulsory modules. These are quantification and costing, building in civil works, quantity surveying project, and research skills and dissertation. For construction management, there are two compulsory modules, construction management project and research skills and dissertation. Both of these routes contain an array of optional modules. We'll display these on the screen now, and you can pause the video if you'd like to read through. In summary, both of these routes share many of the same modules. However, it's worth noting that the modules completed in Year 3 will have the biggest impact towards your final grade. We recommend you do some research into both of these roles and what they entail day to day once you've graduated from university. Matrone, a commercial hub for your business.